Hi guys! I have a really fun tutorial for you today. We're going to make a miniature foldable tray table out of just a few simple supplies. These super cute tables fold up for easy storage and you can make a dozen of these if you wanted to. Let's get started. The first thing we need for this project is a handful of coffee stirrers. Grab four of them and split them in half. We're going to glue these eight pieces together to create the top of the table. I'm just using some wood glue for this. Once all those pieces are glued together, draw a line straight down at the 2 inch mark. Cut off the excess wood. This rectangle will be the tray. Grab another coffee stirrer and line it up against the shorter side of the rectangle. Mark the length you need and cut out two of these lengths. Glue them onto the edge of the tray to act as the tray's ledge. Do the same for the longer sides. Once that's all dry, turn the tray over and cut off a 1.75 inch length of coffee stirrer and glue it onto the back. Make sure it's close but not touching the edge of the tray. Then cut two 1 inch pieces and glue them to the shorter sides. We're leaving one side open. Okay, this part of the table is done. Let's get to the more interesting part, the foldable legs. We'll need four legs so I take two coffee stirrers and break them in half. Mark them at the 2.25 inch mark and cut off the excess wood. Round off one side for all the four legs. I'm just using a file to sand down the edges. Once that's done, take two of those legs and stack them together. Lower the top piece just a tiny bit. Using a mini hand drill, drill a hole 1 inch from the top of the legs. Make sure the hole goes through both pieces. Then I take some 20 gauge wire and stick it through the holes. Cut off the excess wire. My shears don't allow me to get a really flush cut, so I'm using a file to sand down as much of the excess wire as possible. There, that looks better. Now to make sure the wire doesn't come out, I cut off a tiny end from another coffee stirrer. Cut off all the corners so it becomes a super tiny circle. I use some wood glue to glue this tiny little button on top of the wire hole. See how the folding legs can open and close easily? Then I file down the edges so it has a more rounded appearance. Do this to the other side too. We'll need two sets of these. Alright, we're almost ready to attach the legs to the tabletop. But first, grab a thin wooden skewer and cut out a one and a half inch piece. Glue one end to the round top of one pair of legs. Take the other pair of legs and glue it onto the other side of the skewer. Now cut off a 1.75 inch piece from the skewer. Open up the folding contraption and glue that piece onto the other set of legs. Alright, we can finally put everything together. Flip the tray and the legs upside down and put the legs onto the back of the tray. Make sure the one and a half inch skewer side is facing the part of the tray that has a ledge. On the side without the ledge, mark two dots where the legs meet the tray. Use a hand drill to poke some holes there. As we did before, stick some 20 gauge wire into those holes and cut off the excess. For some stability on the legs, I cut out two 1.25 inch sections from yet another coffee stirrer and glue them to the legs. Now let's cut the bottom of the table legs at an angle so it's flush to the ground. Okay, we're almost done. Add some buttons to cover up the wire hose and slap on some paint. I'm going to paint mine a pretty turquoise color, so I mix some blue, white, and yellow paint. A lot of white, medium amount of blue, and a drop of yellow. Paint that on. One to two coats should do the job. And that's it. The folding tray table is all done. Look how nicely that tray table folds up so you can stack them away. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more. I have two new videos every single week. See you next time. Bye.